Hello everyone, it's Apple Mint and welcome back again to my channel. As always, I post a new video every Friday, so if you're interested in art-related videos, please consider subscribing. So for today's video, I'm doing another requested video, which is a tutorial on how to draw eyes slash faces. In my last tutorial, I showed you guys how I draw bodies. Um, and for this one, this is just how I go about drawing faces and eyes again. Uh, it's my style, it's my way of doing it, but just want to share with you guys my thought process when I go about doing these things. So to start with the shape of the face, everything always starts from a circle. So the circle helps you see where you want to position it, but it also helps serve as kind of like a guideline for where you guys are going to be placing everything when you're drawing the actual head itself. So uh, in this first one that I'm doing, she's kind of facing to her right, our left. So I've got the line in the center curving down around that way. And that's just kind of a guideline for me so I know where to draw the chin line and where to draw the eyes on her head. So as you can see, starting from the edge of the circle on the left, I move down and I kind of make her have a cheek and I bring it down and curve it around to meet where the line is and that's one side of her face. Super simple. Once you have these guidelines down, it's really simple. And next, after that, I do the same thing on the other side. Normally, if she's facing uh, a three quarters view like this, I will make the other side of her face a little bit slimmer just because uh, she's facing away from that, or you see that side more, so you know her cheeks showing more on the other side than it is this side. Uh, and this is the side where her ear is showing too, so I just kind of sketch in uh, briefly where that's going to go. And then after that, uh, I add a neck. So after I have the guidelines down, I go back in and I try to clean up the sketch a bit and fix anything that I didn't like before. And just to help you guys out, I kind of sketched real fast the placement of where the eyes, nose, and mouth will be. So once I've got that down, I do whatever kind of eye style I want <clears throat> or whatever I feel will help uh, will good in the picture. So for this one, it's just kind of similar to what I normally do with the lines on top and bottom. I'm going to get more into the details of how I draw eyes in uh, a later clip in this video. But for now, this is just a quick showing of kind of where to place them on the face. So basically, the eyes kind of go toward the bottom part of where the circle, base circle that we drew in uh, was. So as you can see, the circle, I left it there. I haven't erased it yet. My guidelines are still in place and uh, the eyes kind of go toward the bottom third of that circle. Uh, and they are split about evenly to where that center guideline is that we drew in earlier. So that's kind of how you can think of where to place um, the eyes and nose and mouth roughly on the face because sometimes it's a little confusing, especially with different angles of the face. But at least for this, uh, you know, you can never go wrong when you're using your guidelines with the circle and the lines down um, the head. So hopefully that's helpful to you. And once I'm done with all of that, I go in and I do the hair next. Um, and I just kind of erase parts of the face and the head as needed and I'll erase the guidelines. Normally during this phase I'll erase most of the guidelines and just leave them there lightly so I can still kind of see where I want to uh, place everything um, in the shape of her he head and all that where it goes. So yeah, I'm not going to go into detail about the hair here because I do have a tutorial on different kinds of hairstyles. It's really basic but it's uh, a little bit older. It's on my channel. Next, I'm gonna briefly show you guys how to do a side profile. I don't do these very often because I'm super bad at drawing bodies uh, from the side, so I always avoid it. But I do enjoy drawing the head um, from the side. So again, I start with a circle, and this time I draw the line right down the side there because that's the direction I want her to be facing in. So from that, uh, I make a little, I guess, I don't know how to describe that shape, like kind of like a rectangular shape, but not really. Just as a guideline for where her face is going to go, uh, where her nose, lips, and chin are going to be sticking out of. <laughs> so um, after that, I kind of refine it a bit more, erase some of the, uh, the harsher lines, and I make it look more like it's her face. So I make a little groove for the nose and the lips and the chin, and uh, 
curve it accordingly. You can see how I do it there. And then uh, I bring it back and I connect it to a neck. Um, in this case, her head's kind of like sticking out a little bit more, so, you know. <laughs> but um, just, you know, just the rough idea. And then from that, I, uh, I erase, usually when I'm drawing, I'll, after I've gotten the base down of what I want it to look like, I'll start erasing the guidelines just because, or, or I'll lighten them. Usually I don't erase them fully, I lighten them a lot, just because it helps me to still see where things roughly need to be for them to look proportionate, but also, um, you know, I don't like to have them there very dark because then it's hard to see where I'm drawing now and it's just a lot of lines and it's confusing, so I erase those uh, mostly. And then I kind of add some hair, fix up the ear, um, you know, and then the eyes for this are kind of different because um, they look to the side, so they are a lot thinner. The pupil or the eye itself, the eyeball itself is a lot thinner, or the iris, whatever you want to call that. The inside of her eye is a lot thinner looking, and um, you can see the front eyelashes, and that's how I do it. And now I'll just briefly walk you through how I go about drawing eyes. Uh, I, there are like a bajillion different eye styles, so in no way is this the only way you can draw it. This is just a basic way. <laughs> so uh, when I do it, I'll make the line for the top, and that line on the top really changes depending on the expression. For these eyes, I'll make them kind of more, you know, neutral. So I'm not gonna make them too crazy, too excited, too, you know, sad, whatever. Uh, and for more neutral eyes, you keep it more straightish. So as you can see, I made the line a bit straighter. Um, but if I was to make it more excited, I might arch it a bit more. I might curve that line a bit more. Um, and if I wanted to make her look sad, I might uh, curve it downward. So it really depends what kind of expression you want. And then after that, I draw in the bottom line too. And again, that also kind of changes a little bit depending on the expression, but not as drastically as the top one does. And uh, after that, I add lots of eyelashes or just one big eyelash. <laughs> I like to do one big eyelash and sometimes a few other ones, but um, for, this, for the purposes of this, I'll just show you guys how to do regular eyelashes. But mine are super messy, so um, you know, I, I just make a bunch and they kind of get smaller as you get toward the center of her eye. I don't go all the way toward, all the way to the end of the line. I, I stop half, like, about like a third of the way from uh, the left. So yeah, that's how I do the eyelashes. Just kind of feather them out, make them really light and airy. Have fun with them. You can do as many or as little as you want. <laughs> so for the inside of the eyes, I make them kind of rounded, the eye itself kind of rounded. And um, I'll typically draw a line down almost the middle, horizontally. And that just kind of shows me where the shaded part of the eye is gonna go. Then in the center, for these kinds of eyes I'm gonna draw, I make a U shape. And uh, the U shape, is after I shade everything in above that line that I drew before, um, I will color in that U shape too. So it's just uh, kind of almost like a guideline, but it's also part of the style. So it shows me where I want to color darker on the eye. Um, and then I also darken that U shape itself just for style purposes. And then the bottom part would be shaded the lighter color, like light blue, light green, whatever color the person's eyes are. Uh, so. Yeah, the inside of the eye is typically very, can, can differ very, very much. So everybody's got their way of doing it. And uh, for eye shines, um, I usually put the shiny part right in the top left corner. And uh, that's just me, but you know. And I, typically when I do it, I'll color in the full eye and then I'll use a gel pen after the fact to make it highlighted rather than leaving a space open. But you can do it either way. I find it easier to do it after the fact with the gel pen. Um, and then on the top, there's that crease for the eyelid, which I always add in. And for the eyebrows, typically eyebrows kind of have, an, they have an arch to them. So the arch part happens it's about like two thirds to the side of the actual eye um, inward. I, I don't know if that made any sense, but you can see it on the paper where I went with it. And um, yeah, I make the curve like that. And typically I will color in my eyebrows a bit thicker. Some people like to do just a line. And honestly, that's way easier because these always have a way of coming out uneven for me. So yeah, I 
wish I had an easier way of, or I wish I liked the easier way of doing it, but personally I like this kind of style where it's thicker. And uh, then for the other side, uh, I typically, I guess these eyes are kind of like looking to the side, so it's kind of like a three, three fourths view, like that first face I drew before. So typically if you're doing a, a face like that, the one eye on the other side that's farther from you would be a little bit smaller. So they're not typically always the same size. Um, they're, they're the same exact size if the person is facing straight on, but I don't often draw people straight on. So, you know, it varies. But yeah, the dreaded other eye. Oh, <laughs> I'm surprised it actually came out okay here, but you know, typically hide it with hair or something like that to avoid drawing it. And lastly for the lips, um, so the way I go about it is I'll make two dots on either side and that's kind of where the edges of the mouth's gonna be and then in the middle I make like a little not like an M but like a super super stretched out M kind of thing like two uh, curves and for an open mouth I would well I would connect those to the little dots we drew and then for the open for an open mouth um, just kind of follow the curves but just kind of make it one, like a V almost underneath, if, if that's the best way I can describe it. Um, and after that, then I kind of add the lips in, the lips themselves in. And to do that, I make a curve underneath, uh, a little bit underneath where the mouth is. And so this kind of gives some space for where the lip's gonna be, and then the rest is just shading. And then the top lip kind of follows those two um, curves that are on top. So everything kind of flows with each other. And, um, but I don't do these kind of mouths like too often. I'll do them with certain drawings or certain um, styles or portraits I'm doing. But yeah, this is the typical, my default mouth that I go to when I'm drawing a mouth. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys in some way. Again, this is just how I go about doing it. But you know, sometimes it's really intimidating when you see a finished, a finished artwork and you're like, you can't picture how that happened. But this, these are the guidelines, the building blocks for how to make that happen. So hopefully it helped you guys. And if it did, please definitely leave a comment below. I'd like to hear your experience in your artwork and uh, things that you are trying to improve on because I'm always trying to improve. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and check out my uh, links in my description below. I have my social media, like my Instagram, my Twitter, my shop, etc. So uh, thank you very much for supporting me and for watching this video. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.